The ideal cycle for a dairy cow is that you have a calf every 365 days. If cows are calving too late, you need more feed at the end of lactation. And this is the point in time at which you don't have high levels of grass growth. So you need to have more feed stored for longer and that feed is more expensive. You know, there will be a, a potential that people will take their eye off the ball during a phase of expansion and they'll end up with a large herd with a more spread out calving pattern, but it's not going to be necessarily the most efficient way of expanding. The most efficient way will be to, to keep with a herd that will give you a compact calving pattern, again aligned to the, the onset of, of spring grass growth. Despite the fact that herds are getting bigger, cows still need to be managed as individuals, so attention needs to be given to their health and their fertility. This is getting more difficult as farms get bigger. So if we focus on individual cows, the only two ways we can do this are by uh, employing more staff, spending more time observing these cows over several times over the day and night, uh, or else by investing in technology such as a uh, Moon Monitor Plus system, which functions electronically to monitor the health and welfare of the cows. The Moon Monitor Plus is the most advanced activity monitoring system available currently. It monitors activity and interprets that as behaviour, and these behaviours are either heat detection, feeding, ruminating, resting, or even restlessness. The two key factors, I suppose, affecting profitability from a fertility perspective uh, centre on calving date and spread and overall replacement rate. So uh, making sure that when cows calf, they calf to maximize the synchrony between grass supply. And secondly, rearing uh, replacement heifers is a significant cost. We estimate it costs somewhere uh, close to 1,500 euros for every replacement heifer that enters the dairy herd. So every time you have to bring in an extra replacement heifer, that's a significant cost. But what we've estimated is that for every 1% increase in six week calving rate, uh, that's worth 8 euros 22 per cow in the herd. The target six week calving rate is 90%. Nationally, we're at somewhere around 60%. So, for that 30% increase uh, in six week calving rate, is worth about 250 euros per cow, or a 100 cow herd is worth about 25,000 euros. So, having late calving cows, for example, having a much more spread out calving pattern means that you're not, you're not synchronizing that herd demand with the grass supply. and, and you, Late calving cows, for example, might have a bigger feed requirement later on in the year when the grass has stopped growing. And that becomes an expensive system then, because to, to maximise milk from those cows, you need to bring in um, additional supplement. If you get your herd of cows peaking their milk production in May and having a natural decline thereafter, then, then you're matching, again, their feed requirement with the natural grass growth profile. The ideal scenario is that you have a Moo Monitor Plus on each and every cow. It's on right from calving all the way through. It means that if there's any metabolic type issues uh, that occur after calving, the chance of you picking those up uh, are much sooner. Uh, second of all, you can observe the cow's reproductive cycle. You can determine, uh, is the cow showing signs of heat? Has the cow returned to normal cyclicity? Uh, if she has and it's past your normal uh, voluntary waiting period, you can breed that cow. If she's not, you can separate and select out that cow uh, for the vet to intervene and to have a look and to check and see what's actually happening with that particular animal. And with that, it means that you can get that animal back in, in fit condition uh, as early as possible. That means when the cow peaks in lactation, generally you'll get a higher peak because there's more available grass uh, for that particular animal uh, and that animal is much more productive and the cost of feeding that animal uh, is much less. Thank you.